Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, yes, the title is correct. Deadeye is being changed and actually completely removed and replaced, potentially, uh, depending upon what information comes out. So this information is coming from the World Warships Russian live stream. I will link to the stream in the description down below. It is in Russian fully, so get your Google Translator ready if you don't speak Russian. But anyway, uh, during the stream, this is what was said by the devs. So one of the common requests for a change from the community is Deadeye. Deadeye will be changed from scratch. Most likely there will be a new skill, probably. In the next three to four weeks, we'll have more details, and this time frame is conservative. There's a lot of data we have, and we don't want to do this in haste. We'll do a separate article in the dev blog in which we'll cover a lot of nuances about new skills. Where we'll say how it went, how it changed, the game and the meta, what will change, and what will be the direction we'll take. Think by 10.2, we'll, share, we'll share, share more details. So in two to three weeks, at the most, we'll make the information available. Okay, so that right there, that's great news. Dead Eyes being changed or replaced. So what I do recommend you do right now is don't put Dead Eye on any more of your ships because we know for sure that's one skill that is going to change. And they haven't said for sure whether or not they will give up more free commander respects. I would think they would be the proper thing to do, I would imagine. Um, but who knows with how things have gone recently. But this is big news, great news, because Deadeye has for sure been the biggest, biggest impact on gameplay recently. And there are other skills that could potentially need tuning too. It's just that right now, Deadeye is so dominant that you get matches like what you're watching right now that are very one-sided ships sit in the back for very long periods of time it really only matters now who's got the better aim on your team and the battleships and whose battleships are willing to get close but yeah it's basically just a camp fest if you haven't played the game recently and i'm surprised that they have well waited this long if you guys go back to when the rework came out, I said, well, we're probably going to see a, quite a few fixes here within the first month. It's, It's been almost over a month now, and still nothing. This is the first bit of news we've gotten from the devs, and it's from the Russian server, which, I mean, I understand, you know, Wargaming is a Russian company, but, you well, World of War Ships is based in Russia, Wargaming itself is in Belarus, but, I mean, it's not all that different. But anyway, um... Yeah, it's surprising, because when the CV rework came out, if you guys remember, they were just, like, flying hotfixes out the door, like, very quickly. It did take some time at first, but, like, once they got going, it was shoo, shoo, felt like every week there was some change. But if I'm remembering correctly, it didn't take them that long to start introducing those changes, and they at least communicated a little bit better than what they're doing now, and that's something that up until now I would say they've been doing a really good job as far as communication goes. Um, nothing's been said on the European or the American live stream about this yet. Um, we'll see how this week goes and they may or they may not and if they do of course I'll bring you guys the information here if you miss it on the live stream. But yeah an entirely new skill. Now, I don't think it's going to be something completely different. If I had to guess, it would probably still be some type of skill that has to do with sniping. Um, and like I said before, I thought they were just going to nerf it down to like 5% and it was going to end up at 5% because 5% boosts your dispersion. It's a good enough boost to where if you have a sniping battleship like a Yami, a Thunderer, or a Shikishima, or a Slava, it gives you enough of a boost for you to take the skill. But it's also not going to give ships like the GK enough of a boost to be a viable sniper. And if any one skill can turn the GK into a viable sniper, that's an issue. And that's exactly what Deadeye does right now. And I guess I really shouldn't be surprised that they're completely changing the skill or replacing with a new skill because even if you go look through just my videos, the amount of people saying that they're not playing anymore, that they're taking a break, that they're just leaving the game until Deadeye gets fixed, or they're just leaving the game, period, now because of the Commander rework and because of Deadeye, 
and you count all those comments up, the unique ones, it's it's in the hundreds at least. At least I would say because I try to read all the comments and that's been one of the most frequently commented uh, comments on videos talking about the rework and I can't blame people. It's not a very enjoyable meta right now at high tier at least and like I've said before around tier 6, tier 7 it's actually the sweet spot right now because Deadeye isn't as prevalent because battleships still have trash concealment at those tiers so those tiers are actually doing pretty good. Um, and that may have of course have influenced Wargaming to, com to completely change the skill because that many people leaving in a game that still has a pretty healthy population but doesn't have anywhere near the population of games like of course Call of Duty and stuff where they can afford to lose a couple hundred people over the course of a month and still be perfectly fine not even notice a dip in their um in their population numbers but yeah it's I mean it's a good thing that's happening but it's bad that it took this level of disgust and burnout from the community to make it happen but yeah, we'll see what happens. Three weeks, and this was, I believe the stream was like either Thursday or Friday night. I think Friday night um, over here in the U.S. So it's only been, you know, about four days in, uh, when I'm making this video, five days when this video comes out that we've heard this announcement, but we haven't heard much else. And I was kind of waiting to see if they were going to release any more information maybe earlier than they said. Or just throw us a bone and see like what they're cooking up and what they're thinking of at least. But nope, no, no more information has come out about that. But something else that um, happened today, quite earlier today on Monday, is, and it does have to do with this, is apparently Flamu has been kicked from the CC program. Which, that caught me off guard. Flamu, if you don't know, which I doubt many of you don't know, um, he, it, well, was... Um, the biggest World of Warships content creator that was a member of the CC program, and he got kicked because of some tweets and because of, according to Wargaming, the uh, post that uh, Hoppa put, put on the forums, stat shaming and toxic behavior, which, okay, I can see that, because if you remember back when we talked about the... Um, anti-CV divs being banned for EULA violations that really had more to do with toxic behavior of those streaming it, which, you know, again, I didn't really, you know, it's their stream, they can behave however they want, but those guys are also super testers, and super testers are held to a, a much higher standard because you are representing wargaming at that point, and that's really what went down with, uh, with that. And I think this... I, I like I, I don't know I don't know because Flamu has been a CC for fri friggin' years very very good player uh, probably definitely one of the best players in the game streams a whole lot and I'm sure most of you are familiar with him here and he's been in this program for years now and now all of a sudden he's getting kicked from it for toxicity and what he really thinks is tweets which I mean tweets criticizing wargaming quite. Quite harshly, which, I mean, hey, you know, they deserve it sometimes, you know. You gotta let them know what you think. You gotta give them feedback on their changes. And, you know, Flamboos doesn't deliver the softest blows, but more often than not, they're pretty correct. Um, but, yeah, so that's happened, and that's just this morning. I was checking Discord while I was at work, and I started getting all these notifications about that. I'm like, what? Really? That, that's, um, hmm. Many, many, many comparisons have been made to the Sir Falk inc incident over, or Sir Falk, Sir, Sir Foch, however you say his name, um, over at uh, World of Tanks when he got straight up uh, copyright banned from posting World of Tanks content on his channel because of his toxicity. And yeah, this is still developing. We don't know if it's like going to be a couple of weeks of a ban or if he's just not banned but kicking. Or if he's just kicked out of the program for good. It seems like he's kicked out of the program for good. He, he certainly doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. He's got she, plenty of an audience to, to carry on without being in the CC program. Which, I'm not in the CC program either. So, yeah, I'm also free to say whatever I want. And I enjoy that freedom. And that's another thing, too, with people asking me why I'm not in the CC program. One, because stuff like this can happen. Um, but again, when you have a big enough audience, you don't really need 
the free testing, the free ships and, and, and stuff. I mean, I still do it because I enjoy doing it and uh, you guys enjoy watching it so I continue to do it. But, you know, if you're relying on that and then suddenly that's just yanked out from under you and you don't have stuff lined up to where you can continue to do what, you, what you, you're what you doing, uh, be it in World of Warships or if you want to take yourself to another game, yeah, that, that, that's pretty freaking rough. And plus, too, like the CC program really isn't what it once was. Back in the day, you used to be able to show content very, very, very early on and far out from release. But then I believe it was last year or 2019, 2019, 2020, I've kind of just blurred into one year in my head. Um, they changed it to where you could not show work in progress content anymore unless it was very, very, very soon to release. That's why a lot of the ship reviews from the CCs, they come out one or two days before the ships get released fully. Because reasons. Well, because actually Wargaming wanted players focused on the content that was out now and not content that was far off. Again, we saw this with the Soviet cruisers where the Pan-Euro DDs got released, but then the the Petro Pavlovsk was available for CCs to show off and they were showing, you know, the Petro just like nuking the crap out of anything that it wanted to from almost any, any angle and the uh, Pan-Euro DDs kind of got overshadowed by that. So again, I can understand that decision, but that also takes off, takes away the allure of the CC program and the downsides versus the benefits where the downsides are, you know, you can't really say what you want to say sometimes and that's a freedom I enjoy. So, you know, I'm not really too keen for giving that up just to put out a ship review, you know, two days earlier than it normally would come out. So, yeah, but the whole Flamingo situation, you know, I, 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 I don't know. They say, they say it's because of, you know, this and that and like, okay, but he's been like that for years and, I, you know, Flamingo was never, never one channel that I sat down and watched his content constantly. He's been around for forever as far as the, the game is concerned and just kicking one of your biggest CCs out of the program because of some behavior issues you've you're you know you're claiming that it that he has it's not like he just developed these overnight he's been like that and if it's true that that's been the issue why wasn't he kicked out of the program years ago cuz he's been like this for forever so i mean w and was it really over some tweets criticizing you know wargaming and and all that maybe i mean it's probably a combination of the two, if I had to guess. Maybe they just, you know, they're putting up with it because he is, well, <laughs> was the biggest content creator in that program. And now just with, you know, the last couple of tweets, especially the one you made about Wargaming buying cots um, and the tweet about the uh, Deadeye changes, maybe, I don't know. I'm not Wargaming, I can't say for sure. But, I mean, again, main thing is he doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Go check out his 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 channel and his statement on what's been going on. He's clearly not bothered by it, which great for him. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, about both the Deadeye changes and what happened to Flammu. It's been an interesting weekend for the game, and I guess we'll see where we go in this week. It's starting off to be a wild week here in World of Warships, and we shall see where this goes. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a great day. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.